Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe at home. So guys, today we are going to be talking about a very, very important topic and that's related with light. So in this video, we'll be discussing about the different types of light that we receive and where we can place our succulents so that they can grow healthy and stay compact. So guys, let's first try and understand what are the different forms of light we'll be talking in this video. Now, the first form of light is ambient light. Second is full sun or direct sunlight. Third is full sun to partial shade. Fourth is indirect sunlight. And the last one is complete shade. Now guys, we are completely talking about succulents. So complete shade will be out of topic and we'll not be talking anything related with complete shade. So complete shade is out of topic. However, there is another form of light that is not very suitable for growing succulents and that is ambient light. Now guys, the light inside your house does not compare to the intensity of direct sunlight outdoors. However, there are a couple of other plants that will do well in ambient lights or inside your homes, but succulents are not one of them. Now, for example, as you can see, I have placed a succulent very close to the window. There is no direct sunlight there is no full sunlight it just receives an ambient light or you can say it's a general lighting now definitely guys if you have placed your succulents in this position or in this place closer to the window wherein there is not much light this succulent is not going to perform very well in couple of days time the succulent that looks very compact over here will start stretching towards the window in search of light it will lose the compactness it will lose the color so this kind of environment is not good for our succulents so the second form of light and the most important form of light for growing succulents is full sun now guys whenever i refer to full sun in any of my videos it directly indicates to morning sunlight and not afternoon sunlight now what exactly is full sun it means when your succulent receives direct unfiltered sunlight for at least five to six hours a day is considered as full sun so now i know a lot of you might not be receiving a full sun for five to six hours maybe a little bit less but it's absolutely fine because something is better than nothing now guys morning direct sunlight is the most healthiest form of sunlight that you can provide to your succulents because it's healthy it's mild it's subtle it's not very strong there is a very very minimum chance that your succulents might get burned but that's only if you have not acclimated your succulents but other than that, your succulents are going to be very, very beautiful when they receive direct sunlight. They are going to have that blush. They are going to have the tint of color when they are exposed to morning direct sunlight. So the third form of light is full sun to partial shade or part shade. Now, what do we mean by this is when your succulents tend to receive full morning direct sunlight for five to six hours and then when the sun starts to climb higher during the afternoons it gets much stronger now during that time when they tend to get partial shade or part shade this kind of combination is very very good for our succulents over here you will be getting a combination of full sun as well as it is going to be protected from the strong sunlight during the afternoons so this combination of full sun and partial shade is very beneficial for growing succulents so i didn't want to miss out on this opportunity so hence i have placed my succulents on the windowsill where they receive morning direct sunlight for five hours and then once the afternoon or the midday sets in they are in partial shade as you can see now guys over here as you can see another thing the partial shade though it is shaded but it's very very bright so this kind of combination is very very good for our succulents they receive full sun and then when it gets hotter by the day it tends to get partial shade so this is a win-win situation for both the succulents and for us because here you do not need any kind of shade cloth the succulents are protected with strong sunlight and that's it so here is another example of full sun to partial shade 
Now these set of succulents you can see over here tend to receive full morning direct sunlight for 5 hours. Hence you can see that they have those blush on the leaves, they are compact, there is no stretching. The succulent overall looks very healthy. Now all of these succulents over here that are placed tend to receive full morning direct sunlight for five hours now this is going to be a very different case during the afternoons what i'm going to show you now this is how it looks during the afternoon you can see that the lights have interchanged the place where it was receiving full morning direct sunlight is under partial shade and the place what was receiving partial shade is under full sun. So this is the combination that works very well for our succulents. As you can see, right now my succulent is protected from the strong afternoon sunlight. It is in a much cooler place. So this is how the succulent looks with the combination of full sun and partial shade. You can see the succulent is compact. There are all the colors present on the succulent. The overall look of the succulent is healthy. You can also also see the blush on the succulent. The fourth form of light is indirect sunlight and this is what a lot of us tend to use for growing succulents. Now there are a lot of people who are disappointed that they do not receive full morning direct sunlight and their only option is to use indirect sunlight. So guys don't be disappointed there is a good news and that is a lot of studies state that succulents can be grown healthy and compact under indirect sunlight. Another best thing about indirect sunlight is that you do not have a time frame for example morning sunlight is usually for five to six hours but under indirect sunlight you can leave your succulent throughout the day without having a fear of them getting burned because under indirect sunlight it is a form of filtered sunlight and it is the safest sunlight that you can provide so what exactly is indirect light because we keep talking about indirect light every now and then when it comes to succulents now guys indirect light is when the sunlight light passes through a medium now the medium can be anything maybe a shade cloth maybe large leaves of a foliage plant or a reflector now, the first one is a classic example of indirect sunlight over here the shade cloth acts as a medium so the afternoon strong direct sunlight is filtered through this shade cloth as a medium and all you receive is indirect bright light now as i said a lot of studies say that succulents will do very well under indirect sunlight as well so over here as you can see the shade cloth you can see the amount of difference with direct and indirect sunlight now this is the indirect sunlight that i'm receiving beneath the shade cloth and this is the full sun so you can see the difference so guys the second form of indirect sunlight is dappled sunlight now this can be acquired by placing your succulents below huge foliage plants or trees now over here the succulents will be shaded and will get a dappled sunlight effect when they are beneath it now over here i do not have any shade cloth or green net all these succulents are under the mercy of these large foliage plants now guys another important thing if you belong to a city or a country or a place wherein you experience high temperatures then this form of dappled sunlight will not be a very good idea now guys again we are talking about a season we are talking about the climate now guys all this information that I'm giving you right now is only meant for summers and winters. If you are from a place where you receive a lot of heavy rainfall, then definitely all these things are going to be left aside because you need to protect your succulents from rain. So you will need to use some sort of plastic or a cover to help your succulents from getting wet in the rain now during the monsoon season you do not have to be worried much about direct sunlight because most of the time the sunlight is going to be very weak it's not going to be very strong like how it is during the summers So the last form of indirect sunlight is when the light falls onto a surface like glass, mirror or any reflectors and then that light bounces onto the succulent or a plant is also termed as indirect sunlight. However, this light might not be very effective compared to the previous two examples but what you can do is 
If your succulent is in partial shade because it's afternoon and the sunlight is very strong, you do not have a green net, your succulents are in partial shade. So probably you can place some kind of a reflective material opposite to them so that the strong afternoon sunlight falls onto the surface and then reflects the indirect sunlight onto the succulent. As I said once again, the more longer the indirect sunlight, the much better it is. So guys, here are my sedum major that are receiving the reflective light. Also next to it is Echeveria prolifica and also few Echeveria prolifica pups that are receiving the reflective light. So you can see how strong the reflection is. It is providing a light that almost looks like it is bright. Now the sun is almost about to set. It's already evening, but you can see the light over here is quite good. Now this is because there is a window on the opposite end through which the direct sunlight is reflecting and bouncing onto these succulents. Now, however, this light is okay. It's not very important for me right now because these guys have already received morning direct sunlight. Then they received indirect afternoon sunlight and now they're receiving this indirect form of light. So any form of light, if it's more, it's much better. If your succulents are receiving more light, it's even much better. So I am okay even if it's receiving this form of reflective light. So guys, if you're ever confused between direct sunlight and indirect sunlight and you don't know how to differentiate, then the best and easy way is to check the shadow. A direct sunlight will cast a darker shadow, whereas a indirect sunlight will cast a softer shadow. And as we all know, a shade will definitely not cast any shadow. So guys, I hope that all these different forms of light are much clearer to you and you know exactly where to place your succulents. Now comes the most important question that's frequently asked. Can I grow my succulents indoor? Now guys, the answer is yes and no. Yes, you can grow succulents indoor if you have grow lights available. If you have grow lights set up indoor, you can definitely grow your succulents indoor. But if you do not have grow lights, then you cannot grow your succulents. However, there is another way you can grow succulents indoor. So guys, as I said that in order to grow succulents indoor, you need to have grow lights. But there are few lucky people who tend to receive sunlight like this through the window. Now, if you tend to receive sunlight like this through the window, then you do not need any grow lights. You can grow your succulents near the window. Now, the next question is, is the light coming from the window direct light or indirect sunlight now guys this depends if the sun rays falls around the pot and does not fall on the succulent directly it is called as indirect sunlight like you can see over here the light is falling everywhere apart from the succulent again over here you can see the light is again falling very very close to the succulent but it's not falling on the succulent this is considered as indirect sunlight now here is another example as you can see now here the sun rays are falling everywhere including on the succulent. You can see that the sun rays are directly falling onto the succulent hence this is termed as direct sunlight. So guys either one if you're receiving full sun or indirect sunlight near the window this is going to work out in your favor and you will be able to grow succulents indoor without grow lights but guys you need to be very careful ensure that the glass does not get heated up and that does not transfer the heat onto the succulent if that does not happen you're all good to go so guys i hope that this video on light was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new please consider subscribing to my channel. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.